some days are good, some days sure. are bad. Today you catch me at the best post workout. I have like my post high, so I'm like, all right, good, <laughs> perfect, <laughs> perfect. Like here, all good. <laughs> I'm a lucky guy. All right, good. And besides, besides the working out and the wine, what else? Because you're a creative person. What else are you doing to stay creative and, and active and, and keep the mind, the mind going? It's it's true. I mean, I I have a very busy brain, and I even without quarantine times, I'm always if I'm if I'm if I stay put for too long, I start going a little bit crazy. Like I have to constantly be doing something. It's also like a way to not be in my thoughts too much because then it gets a little bit cuckoo in there. So yeah. quarantine has most certainly kind of forced me to slow down, um, and that's been a bit tricky in a way because I don't want to slow down. I want to be busy. Um, I found a lot of. Um, you know, comfort in, in reading, in, in, in doing silly things with friends. And how great to have a show that people are talking about and you must be excited about in the middle of this. It must, it must help to have people jazz I mean, the show. Oof, I'm like, I'm one of the luckiest people because I get to have a show that people are like, uh, you know, hopefully watching. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's like, I have that Sunday to look forward to, like where we wait and we do our, like our little thing. We set it up in the living room and we watch it on the big screen. Um, then we got, we got a little projector. They're very nifty, those projectors. Yeah. Um, it's really fun. It's, it's, it's a bit wild as well to be doing press for the show because we were getting, we were gearing up and had this whole plan to promote it. And, you know, this has changed the, the way that we're doing this interview right now, you know, and sure. I do a lot of things from home. I'm getting ready to do a photo shoot with the people that I'm quarantining with and we're all collaborating together. And that's wow. a creative outlet for me. Um, and having to mainly, you know, write and use my own words for a bunch of these interviews has been really great as well. So, yeah. Yeah. And I have such a cool character when she comes on screen on, at these Sunday nights, because um, there's there's always something dramatic and cool about when she enters the frame. How much yeah. is that for you? As in first, first, she does have a bit of flair, doesn't yeah. she? <laughs> you know, it's it's so funny. There's, I mean, there's a lot of things I want to say. I'm so incredibly passionate about this role. I mean, when John Logan first approached me, I kind of lost my. Like, I was like, are you joking? The John Logan wants to meet me. Like, why? How does he know about me? And we had our first meeting, and he had seen Green Inferno of all the movies I've done, and right. We, totally hit it off and he's like I've, I had you on my mind for a long time would you be interested I'm like of course I'd be interested in whatever you do sign me up <laughs> and we worked up for a long time in figuring out a lot of things because there is a Santa Muerte that actually exists in, in yeah. Latin culture and I've known about her for many years so you're stepping into the toes of real culture that exists today so you have to kind of find that balance and the thing is she is still a supernatural really fucking cool being and Freaking, I don't know that I can curse, sorry. sorry. <laughs> and, you know, we were, we wanted her to be, every time she comes in, it has to be a moment. I mean, and it, the details in, in the crown to the lace that I'm wearing, the lace was actually imported from Mexico. It's real vintage wow. lace from that time. I mean, Christy Wittenberg, who is the, the, the head wardrobe, she just did an incredible job in creating this, this costume that for me as an actor is when I become her, you know, it's, it's the cost, it's the wardrobe plus I had prosthetics. That neck isn't actually mine. Um, I'm wearing contacts. I'm wearing these insanely beautiful, long, creepy nails. Um, I get to have a gold teeth. Yeah. Makeup was just also another thing. We're talking about like three hours preparation for these big moments. So there's a lot of that, but in the end, the show, like she just comes in, is a bit creepy and then goes away. And you're like, no. <laughs> I always wanted to, to answer your question. I always wanted to hang out more. Like I'd be just hanging with the crew with my big thing. And people right, like, right, oh, right. coming because it was quite a dangerous crown. So even getting into set was a moment. So wow, I can imagine. Experience. <laughs> not not to diminish your work though, but in these in these moments, you, there, you there's so much that comes out of you, and, and the sadness and the strength, all in your portrayal. So if you can kind of talk about embodying that. Thank you. I mean, yeah, she's quite sad, isn't she? <laughs> it's you know, it's more than sadness. There's something that uh, Don and I spoke of a lot in the beginning. There's this unbelievable weight that she's carrying. This unbelievable torturous uh, a role that she's chosen to to have. It, it's it's a curse, and it and she doesn't she doesn't want to do it. She says she has no heart for the living. But in the the re we'll we'll come to learn maybe, and you can sense it almost. I I wanted to play that torture. I wanted to find that middle ground between 
you know, having some humanity to her and at the same time having to do this awful thing of taking the dead to the dead. I mean, the living to the dead. And um, in that journey, I, I, I wanted to find that pain. And, and, it, it, and it's more, it's sadness and pain and overwhelming, you know, almost abandon. And she, you know, she has to deal with her sister, <laughs> meddling with the humans that she usually takes care of. And I mean, and that's also a whole other ballpark of what Magda and Santa Muerte have. So, you know, she's a very powerful being. And, and I hope that, you know, by as, as the series goes by, we can, we can learn what she's actually up to. Because he, while we were shooting it, I actually had no idea. We oh. I only read like the first episode and we were only given the episodes as we were going. So he had to trust that whatever I was coming up with made sense for the actual, you know, ending of it all. That's on the show. <laughs> Thank really, you. Really, really well done. Amazing character, and amazing performance, and it's, it's captivating to watch. So congrats on that and lovely talking to you. It was lovely. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.